and welcome to Erin Bell. My name is Tokbe and in this video I'll be showing you how to make this super powerful strong hair growth hair oil. It's an amla and fenugreek hair oil by yourself at home so if you're interested do keep on watching. So here are some of the ingredients that I'm using to make my amla and fenugreek hair oil. Starting with amla powder, fenugreek powder. I'm also using some sweet almond oil. You can use a mixture of oils. You don't have to use the same ones that I used. I'm also using some Jamaican black castor oil, the Moroccan argan oil, and some peppermint oil. When sourcing for your powders and oils, try to get the organic versions. Try to get the version that is least processed and very natural so that you get all the benefits of the amla and fenugreek hair oil so to make the amla and fenugreek hair growth oil you start by adding your powders i started with my amla powder and then i went ahead to add fenugreek powder and then you also add your oils i'll leave a measurement of all the things that i use the exact measurements here on the screen as i um add them i'll also leave it in the description box and as a pin comment on this video so you can see exactly how much i added i'll just go over the benefits of amla and fenugreek for your hair for natural hair relax or whatever your hair type is i'll go over them so you know how wonderful this hair oil is how powerful it is and how it's really good for your hair um so amla powder is made from the ground leaves of the indian gooseberry it's really high in vitamin c which is an antioxidant it will help to stimulate your hair growth it will strengthen the scalp and the hair boost hair volume reduce hair loss prevents dandruff and dry scalp it also helps with um, reducing grain um, so if you're having gray hair strands showing up already visiting you amla hair oil can help you to reduce the pigment loss and then when it comes to fenugreek fenugreek is made from the seeds of the fenugreek plant it's also antioxidant it has strong antioxidant properties it's antibacterial and it's anti-inflammatory it helps to prevent hair loss it strengthens the hair it prevents um, dandruff or fights dandruffs it controls scalp inflammation as well it adds shine and then improves the texture of the hair makes it softer it also prevents premature grain of the hair strands so basically they are really strong natural ingredients that are useful for your hair they both help with hair growth they both reduce um, grain of hair they both reduce scalp issues they both reduce hair loss and strengthen the hair so even though i don't know what the situation of your hair is i don't know what the health of your hair is like what you're dealing with trust me amla and fenugreek apart from just even growth they are really beneficial for your hair and i believe that this would be a good addition to your hair routine or hair care after pouring in my amla and fenugreek powder and the different hair oils i gave the mixture a very good mix so what you want to do is to give it a proper stir scrape the bottom of your glass bowl or the container whatever it is you're using try to scrape it and try to make sure that everything mixes up properly if you've been liking this video so far please support me by giving it a thumbs up now like right now thank you so i closed the jar it's an airtight glass jar um so that way air doesn't get in and i put it in a part of my house in a cupboard a dark cupboard a cupboard that i know that i don't usually go to and i don't usually open up just left it there for several weeks i left the mixture in there i left that glass jar in the cupboard for at least two months i don't recall exactly how many weeks but it was at least two months and um, from time to time i gave it a good shake um, like you saw me do just so the amla powder could mix with the oil and really integrate into the oil but you don't have to leave yours for two months um, one month is fine and one month is good enough i just left it for longer because um, i think just life happened um, i kind of just forgot it wasn't really intentional um, but yeah the longer you leave it in I believe the better your results but then four weeks is fine so anyways this is a mistake that i made i wouldn't recommend this part at all i gave the mixture a good stir again just before sieving it i used a wig cap and then yeah this part was really messy i don't like it i didn't like it and this is something that i don't think you should do but i thought i'll still show the whole process anyways um so i put in the oil mixture and the idea was to use the wig cap to separate the powder from the oil 
but as you can see everything just really went through um, but I did get to separate some parts I left it in the glass jar after squeezing it out of the wee cap for another day and a half and then at that point the oil itself had separated from the powder and I think this is what you should just do um, maybe two days before you decide to pour your oil into a bottle um, give it a good stir just so it mixes up again and then leave it and then once it settles once the powder settles just pour out the oil into your bottle and voila you have your amla and fenugreek hair oil you can use this nutrient packed oil on your natural hair on your scalp you know it's really good for your hair it has so many hair growth benefits and general hair benefits um so yeah that's it for this video if you're new to the channel um please check some other videos you know subscribe if you like the kind of videos that i put out i post natural hair videos mostly i also post videos about like aspects of my lifestyle that i feel sh comfortable sharing what i call my sprinkle of lifestyle so stick around check out the videos on the channel and subscribe and if you've not given this video a thumbs up please don't forget to do so here's the finished result and yeah that's it from me in this video i'll see you again in my next one until then stay blessed stay safe and bye